Utilizing various methods, light and heat may be extracted from the sun and used as solar energy. One type of renewable energy is solar energy. Depending on how they are used to collect, distribute, or transform solar energy into solar power, technologies for solar energy harvesting can be classified as passive or active. Photovoltaic systems, concentrated solar power systems, and solar water heating systems are examples of active solar technologies and methods. Passive solar technologies and approaches include choosing materials with favorable thermal mass or light dispersing qualities, creating spaces with adequate ventilation, and orienting an infrastructure to the sun to harvest light and heat. The potential of solar energy is extensively researched since sunlight is by far the most abundant source of energy and the sun is a very potent source of energy. Although solar energy has immense potential, it is exceedingly expensive to gather, convert, and store. Flat plate collectors are among the most widely utilized technologies or apparatuses for capturing solar radiation and transforming it into thermal energy. Solar heating applications make use of flat plate collectors. Since the intensity of solar radiation at the Earth's surface is low, flat plate collectors must be spread over a broad surface area. Typically, flat plate collectors are made of one or two glass sheets placed atop blackened metal plates. The sunshine shining on the glass sheets heats them. The air or water that passes past the rear of the plate will then absorb the heat that the glass sheets have absorbed. You may utilize the heat right now or keep it. Solar water heaters and home heating often employ flat plate collectors. Solar ponds are a further means of turning solar radiation into thermal energy. Saltwater bodies designed to gather and retain sun energy are called solar ponds. In order to produce chemicals, food, textiles, and other industrial goods that can be used to heat greenhouses, swimming pools, and cattle buildings, heat would need to be taken from these ponds. Installing and maintaining solar ponds may be costly. Using solar ovens is an additional way to capture solar energy. Solar ovens are made to have a center point where the sun is focused, covering a large area. The solar energy or sunshine is then transformed into heat by the black surface vessel. Typically portable, solar ovens don't require any kind of fuel. Sunlight or solar energy can be directly transformed into electricity using photovoltaic, PV, or indirectly through concentrated solar power, CSP. The photoelectric effect is used by photovoltaic systems to turn light into energy. A solar cell is a device that uses the photoelectric effect to directly turn light into energy. The release of electrons upon contact with light by a substance is known as the photoelectric effect. Photoelectrons are the electrons released during this process. A photovoltaic system is made to use photovoltaic to provide useful solar electricity. Solar panels, which gather and transform sunlight into energy, a solar inverter, which modifies electric current, a mounting, cables, and other system-related electrical accessories, make up a photovoltaic system. Photovoltaic systems come in a variety of sizes, from little units incorporated into buildings or installed on rooftops to massive power plants. Concentrated solar power systems focus a broad spectrum of sunlight into a narrow beam by using lenses, mirrors, and tracking devices. Following the conversion of the focused sunlight into heat or solar thermal energy, electricity is produced. This can even power a thermochemical process or a heat engine linked to an electrical power generation. 
There are several concentrating technologies available, including the solar power tower, sterling dish, concentrating linear Fresnel reflector, and parabolic trough. Solar energy is frequently used for water heating, thermal mass, solar chimneys, air conditioning, cooking, water treatment, such as solar stills, and disinfection of water. Additionally, solar energy is utilized in transportation networks. Among the concepts under investigation are solar balloons, electric boats, solar-charged vehicles, and solar cars. Actually, some cars are equipped with solar panels that they utilize as an additional source of electricity for things like air conditioning or to cut down on gasoline use. Moreover, research and testing are being done on solar watercraft. In actuality, the first useful solar-powered boat was built in England in 1975. 2010 saw the round of the world by the first ship powered only by solar energy. Research is also being done on solar balloons. A solar balloon is filled with regular air, and when it is exposed to sunshine, the air within warms up and expands, creating buoyancy force that pushes the balloon forward. Thermal mass systems are capable of storing solar radiation as heat at temperatures that are suitable for residential usage. Batteries and supercapacitors can be used to store the electricity produced by solar cells or steam-driven turbines. Energy is stored as electrochemical potential in batteries. Supercapacitors use an electrical field to store energy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with other parents and teachers who are looking for quality educational content for kids. Let's make learning a fun and interactive experience.